guys, welcome back to Animal HK. Today we're going to be going to that mangrove forest right there to take an awesome video and see how it is. Hope you guys enjoy and watch till the end. Video. Today I'm going to be filming this mangrove forest. So up here is DC, my school, and um, it's right after parents teachers conference. So I'm heading down these rocks to the mangrove forest. So uh, yeah, you can see there's a lot of rubbish as well, which has washed up. And mangrove forests have been endangered recently because of these oil spills, which don't allow oxygen to pass through the roots. So this is actually quite hard. This is like rock climbing. Ah, thorny plants. Ouch. And there are huge crevices in between these rocks. I'm not sure if I could get past all of this. So, these mangroves, I feel, are super special plants because they live in some wa water which is called or known as brackish water, which is basically water that um, has, um, which is a mixture of salt water and um, clean water, non salt water which is called brackish water. And these plants are really important for coastal cities because they prevent like tsunamis and things like that. And I'm surprised to see all of this rubbish. Oh, ah, my foot. So here's some grass and we're out. We climbed all that, now we're out. So you can see the up out there is a sea barrier. They prevent huge waves from destroying this place. And actually there are footprints here and these aren't my footprints. So people have been here and there's so much rubbish in fact. So I'm in DB right now and yeah, this is the mangroves. So I'm not sure if these mangroves are planted here because they're quite organized I feel. And they're quite small. Maybe the government is trying to protect us from the huge waves because um, there has been so many huge typhoons and maybe instead of just putting the seawall there they decide to plant these mangroves because they're perfect for this environment and you know they provide extra protection so you may notice that this is kind of muddy but not nearly as muddy as in Hampton so it seems to be getting quite dense aha so I'm not going to harm any of these plants. I'm just walking past like this. See? There's some baby ones. Not stepping on any. Here. I'm holding it up. You guys can see hopefully. This is quite amazing. In fact, this is the first wild, or maybe this is human made, but the first mango forest I've actually been allowed to actually just walk through because all the other ones in Hampton are hard to get to and I've only been to the Hong Kong wetland park once and they don't allow us to go like even touch the mangroves you okay? yes mom I'm okay that was my mom just checking on me and you can see here that's the seawall and it's allowing water to come through which allows the plants to drink and you see, hopefully there are no oil spills because these plants are obviously gonna be hugely affected by oil spills which happen here because you know, they live right next to the coast and the oil will come through here and poison the roots, not allowing any oxygen to come in through. And um, yeah, so let's see how far I could get. I'm walking on these rocks so my shoes don't get as muddy. Oh, we. So, yeah. Okay. You could see some holes in the water. I think those are a species of crab. And there are just tons of mangroves. I can't, it's just so much. It's gonna be hard to get back. That's where I came from. Okay, I think I should be getting back now. Well, that was awesome. So let's get back. 
You can also see there's some algae probably thriving off of all of this. So I'm not sure if this is man-made. Like the Hong Kong government, as I said, might have planted this for the benefit of the environment and for the people who live. Because DB is a coastal area, just like Puyo, and it does get affected. So you can see here, look at this rubbish. It's polluted. I might decide to come here again and do a little cleanup because look at how polluted this place is. This area isn't as polluted, but the more you go in, you can see some plastic here. Ah. Oh my, I wonder what that is. Let me know down below what you guys think that is. That could be either compacted sewage waste, as I saw from a, as you guys saw from another video, or it could be coral. And then here is some foam. There, there. Oh, I'm walking past the mangroves. And a huge door or a wall segment is here. And we're back. You can see some more mangroves as far as the eye can see. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was one of the most awesome videos for me. Um, comment down below how you guys think on a scale of one to 10, how muddy this is. And also comment down below if I should come here again and do a little cleanup. Cause there's a lot of rubbish here. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next